Oh hey guys, I didn't see there. So today, we have a lot of different amazing things on the menu. A lot of scrumptious little bites. One, spicy wings. Two, shrimp wontons. And three, crab cakes. So get ready. It's gonna be a good day as always. So you guys might be wondering what we're doing at Popeyes. Yesterday we saw a sign they have a new Cajun flounder sandwich, so I say that we try it out. And so that's what we're gonna do today and give a quick little review on it. Alright, thank you very much. It's good to pick out every now and then, you know. You know how healthy we are, but sometimes you gotta indulge, you know what I mean? One life. Alright guys, I'm about to take a bite out of this. Check it out. Hmm. You can see there's some type of tartar sauce on it. I'll check the inside of it. But it's not bad. But you know me, as I do when I go to every restaurant, I'm gonna take off a slice of bread because there's no reason to eat two pieces of bread. You know what I mean? But overall, I give it just like a six out of 10. Six out of 10. It's not bad. And also compared to some other places, it's a little better, but this will do. All right, Shalini is gonna try the fish sandwich now and give her rating. What do you think? It's okay. It's okay on a scale of what? On a scale of 1 to 10, it's like 3. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I give it a 6 and you give it a 3. So guys, you see, when Shalini gives something a 10, you know it's amazing. Alright, so she's going to stick with a level 3 on this. Alright. Hey guys. So today we're at our neighborhood H-E-B. AKA Heb, AKA Hear Everything Better. Gotta check out this vegan mayo with grapeseed oil. Gluten free, dairy free, egg free, and vegan. This is a good one. Anything you make with mayo, good, good brand. What's that there, Shalini? So you pick up the wonton skins for today's appetizer. Got some organic potatoes. Goes good with a lot of things, especially fry alu. <laughs> oh, look at those almond cake bites. Oh, those are cute. Like Easter. Look at the Look at her. Now we're in Texas, right? Check it out. Angus Thura Bitters. And let's see where this is from. Check it out. Represent. Sweet, sweet TNT. Awesome. They have an orange flavor too. I put this in our smoothies every single morning. As you can see, I don't know if you know. But a, hat, a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds is nine grams of protein. So just imagine that. This is like a hundred grams of What's up guys? So I'm gonna show you how to make my famous crab cakes today. Check out our crab meat that we got. Fresh lump crab meat. So the thing with my crab cakes, everything's pretty much average, but well, actually, let's see. This is one pound of crab meat. So let's go ahead and get this in the bowl first. Bam, look at that. And you'll all, you're always gonna need two eggs. So I'll put two eggs in there. And after that, we're gonna want about two tablespoons of mayo.
So the eggs and the mayo is gonna really help it stay together. Those are the main bonding ingredients. And everything else in this recipe is best going to be to your liking. So one of my favorite ingredients to put in this, the Old Bay seasoning, because this has a lot of the Cajun type flavoring in it. So let's get some of that. Next, some Worcestershire sauce. And of course, you gotta have some Dijon mustard. Organic, of course. Some black pepper. And guys, I made this recipe a lot of times before and it always comes out good, so be sure to try this one out. Some Himalayan pink salt. Now we're gonna go in with one lemon. The juice of one lemon. And most importantly, some lemon zest. So I'm just gonna grate some of the skin off of it, just a little bit. Give it more of a citrus flavor too. I'm oh, check it out guys. When we rise our crab cakes, we want a little crunch. So I like to put some crackers in there and this one is almond flour. So what are you gonna do is take some out, which I already did here. Check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and just mash it up into, not too fine, but also not too small. I mean, not too small, but it would have some texture to it still. So this is the texture I got it right here. And that's really gonna help bind together with that, the eggs and the mayo. And here I got some freshly chopped organic parsley. Just gonna drizzle that in there. And also, some green onion. And that's pretty much it guys. Let's go ahead and get this stirred up. And I'll show you the texture. All right guys, let's mix it up. I'm gonna get that egg all mixed up in there. All right guys, one crack with you right there. So next up guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form these into little hockey puck sizes. And I'm gonna get them golden brown on each side. Can fry it for about three to four minutes on each side on a very low heat. So the oil is all hot. What I'm gonna do now is go in with my hands, and make these into little hockey pucks. So basically like really, really small ball at first. And then I'm gonna flatten it out all the way around. We don't want it to be too, too thick because we want it to cook all the way through. Once you got your puck, I'm gonna fit as much as I can on this pan. And remember, we just want kind of a nice golden brown color on each side, and then we'll take it out and we're gonna put on this wire wrap right here and get it ready for the, the baking process of it. able to fit five crab cakes in this pan right here. So I'm just waiting until it gets golden brown and I'll show you guys the other side. All right guys, check it out now. I'm gonna show you the other side of this one. You want to flip these very carefully because you don't want them to break up. Nice. Check out that golden. Got like a nice little crunch on there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip all of these. Try my best not to break them up because you want them to stay in the shape for sure. They are crack cakes after all. Nice, look at that. They're staying together perfect today, just for you guys. 
All right, so another couple minutes on, on these sides. And I'm gonna put them on this wire rail. Wow, check out how beautiful these are looking. Tell me you don't want to try one of these. <laughs> I got my wonderful wife helping me make some crab cakes on the side here. Thank you, honey pie. <laughs> my little crab cake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, check it out. These should be all good to go. Let's check the other side out real quick. Yeah, that's a nice color. So what I'm gonna do now is put all these on a wire rack since, as you can see, both sides. Look at that color. Perfect. Now, I like the wire rack because when you bake it with the wire rack, the heat just goes throughout the top and bottom like nothing. And there's no need to take it out halfway to flip anything. So you're just gonna space these out evenly on here. Wow, check out the color on this one right here. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is rinse and repeat, get all the crab cakes on the rack right here, and then we're gonna put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 300 degrees. All right guys, so now we're getting started on the shrimp wonton. So we're chipping up all our veggies that are going into them. So yeah, we're making some veggie ones and some shrimp ones. So we're just getting everything ready here. Our cabbage, we got our bell pepper, some squash, some parsley and green onion. So we're gonna chip all these up. Check out how our veggies are coming along. It's gonna be a nice colorful mix on each bite. Check out the mix folks, we added some carrots in there also. It's beautiful. A lot of veggies. Add whatever veggies you want in your wonton. Alright, the are all good. Check it out. Alright. Put them on the rack, guys. Shrimp pitching up now. You gotta make it nice and small to go in the wontons, right? Mm -hmm. So it can fry up nicely with all these veggies. All right, guys, our crab cakes are ready. They've been in there for 10 minutes. So let's take them out. Wow, check these out, guys. Come over here. And guys, get a close up of that. Wow. And guys, let me just say something. With this method that I just showed you, cutting it in the pan and baking it, your crack baits are definitely cooked fully through. So you don't have to worry about that. Guys, check these out close up. Beautiful. Got a little crisp on it. It's gonna have a nice little crunch. Check out our shrimp all seasoned up. In case you were wondering, we seasoned up with some green seasoning, some of our all-purpose seasoning, Worcestershire sauce and poison sauce. So that's all that's in here. And we're gonna show you guys how to make these wontons. All right guys, we're seasoning up these chicken wings now with some all-purpose seasoning. Going up with some green seasoning. We're gonna try to make some hot wings for you guys. And of course, some Worcestershire sauce. And 
and a little bit of hoisin sauce. And going in with some salt. We're gonna use some Chinese seasoning, no MSG. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't seen that one before. No, this is a new one. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and get this tossed up and show you what's next. Getting some chopped onions and peppers ready. To fry up with this chicken. See? You can't miss out on all the fun. Come, treat, sit, spin, down, dead, dead, dead. Again. Make this extra spicy, guys. We just went in with some of our hot sauce. That's gonna give it the kick that we need. You're training everything, right? All right. A little hot. Just throwing in the chicken just like that. Some nice spicy wings. Gonna be here tonight. All right, after that, we're gonna go in with our onions, hot peppers, and some, uh, we had some parsley, so we went in with some parsley also. And now we're just gonna basically let this steam fry. All right, Shalini. So I heard you're in charge of the shrimp wontons today. Yeah. So you would you like to show us how they are made? Sure. <laughs> All right. Guys, pay attention. I think Shalini knows what she's doing. All right, so I've got our wonton skin there, right? Mm-hmm. All right, what's next? You get your shrimp. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to get too much. Or else it can get more Okay. Wow, that's a stuffed one. I want that one. <laughs> Mark that one for me. And then you get your water. Mm -hmm. um, make an L shape with An L shape with the water. Got it. And fold this side onto this side to make a triangle. Okay. Hope you guys are taking notes. Because look how beautiful these are shaped around it also. Then I like to get all the air out. Uh huh. So it can be like. Oh, yeah. Way. So you push all the edges around it. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I get more water. Mm hmm. Put it on one side. One side? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then fold it back. Whoa. And connect. Nice. <laughs> this is that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's mine. It's really fat. That one's stuffed with meat. Good job, Fellini. All right, and my wife here is making the veggie wontons using the same method that Shalini just showed us. So much good thing, good veggies in this mix here. Right one side, flip around. Beautiful. Now you got yourself a little hat. <laughs> Good job. All right, guys, let's check on this chicken, see how it's coming along. Wow. It's been steaming in there for about 10 minutes now. Wow, check out the color on there already. You want all that sauce to go away and go straight into that chicken. Actually, how's it coming along over here? How much have you got done since I we last saw you? Eight. <laughs> nice, let's see lining them up here. Beautiful, beautiful. We're also making a mixed wonton, right? Yeah. With some With of them. our veggie mix and some of our shrimp. Oh, we have to mark these so we, don't, we know which one's which bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
make it into a little taco. Nice, very neat. Wait one under that and then connect it. Beautiful. Looks great. Bam! Good job, baby. Oh, chicken sandwich looks look really good. Look at that color. Very nice. I'm gonna keep that cover off now. All the sauce is trying to dry out now. It's almost done. All right, guys, chicken's all done. We're gonna finish it off with some onion. And some green onions. That's it, guys. Just like that, we got ourselves some pepper wings. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're gonna do a quick crab cake test. Check out our crab cakes. All good to go. Which one you got? Nice. Okay, and I made a little sauce on the side. Something with a little mayo, mustard, pepper sauce, soy sauce, so. A little thing I whipped up there. So, let's go ahead and try it out without the sauce first. Here. Wow. So you guys know Shalini on her scale, right? How she doesn't mess around. So Shalini, just because it's me, be honest, okay? You don't have to lie to everyone right now and tell them it's really good. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, out of 10 though, let's be honest. Shalini, come on. Ten. All right, let's try with the sauce. See if the sauce is good. It's just, Dip in that sauce. Mm. Guys, personally, these are the best crab cakes I've had. They are really good. Dairy free, most importantly. And the sauce is not half bad, right? I had to make my own little sauce for it. Guys, guys, my mother in law just tried and she loved it too. So, yes. guys, Julian said a 10. I give it a 10. So, be sure to try this crab cake recipe. If you like crab cakes, you will not be disappointed. Wow. Let's check out our wings. We're about to do a taste test of this also. And of course, I got my taste testing buddy here, Shalini herself. All right, let's put it in the plate, Shalini. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Guys, review these wings. Let's try it. It's a little hot, fresh off the, the, the pan. Wow. It smells amazing. Wow, we both got a drink stick. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Wow. You know what? It tastes good. It tastes really good. I like it. I have a tension on Everything is a 10 tonight, guys. I don't know. For some reason, when we cook at home, everything's a 10. Check out all our beautiful wontons handmade by Shalini and Malini. We got our oil hotting up here. About to fry these up. Putting the first batch in here to fry. Already starting to get a little brown on there. Oh, okay, really hot now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're all good to go. Going over to the next batch right now. Check out how the first batch came out. Mm. 
hot and ready to eat. Just eat these sauce. All right, guys, time for the final taste test of the yeah. night. The wontons. Let's do it. Let's grab a, a shrimp one first, maybe. We got our shrimp wontons stuffed to the max. And we got some soy sauce and pepper sauce mixed up here. Go ahead and dip it in. And give this a shot. Cheers. Wow. I like this so much, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat another one for you guys. Definitely tastes good with the soy sauce and pepper sauce. I need that. Mmm. Wow. That was a veggie one. Even though there's no meat in it, Still taste good. We just want to thank you guys for checking out this video. So something a little different today, mostly appetizers. But everything tasted awesome. We'll see you on the next one. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>